Today, the full review of these Deportes Casanova, stunning in this Python design. And let's not forget that Deportes Casanova were the gloves used in Rocky One. Hello and welcome to Fit to Box channel. I'm Simon, former amateur boxer, current amateur boxing coach. Fit to Box channel is where I show gloves and boxing equipment from around the world. Today we have Deportes Casanova here, made in Mexico in this fantastic python skin design. Now, Deportes Casanova are the originals, okay? So there is a rip-off version of them these are the original Mexican made gloves and as you can see they are stunning when it comes to that python design and it's got some really great leather on these they do smell lovely as well as look great and as I bring that round so I've got these from uh, Pro-Am Boxing Equipment so check out Pro-Am's Boxing Equipment website uh, they are updating it and improving it all the time and on there you will see the sort of these gloves but look many many other gloves as well so that boxing shop of course Chris Firth from Pro-Am uh, they're based in St Helens in Merseyside check them out a proper boxing shop and as I say uh, their website is highlighting their gear as well so let me just show you a bit of a close-up so you can see that stunning design when it comes to the python print on that sort of black glove with of course the label on the rear um, it's on that way as if so if you hang them like you see on a lot of mexican gloves but if you hold them that way obviously then that is upside down as well as that uh, Pro-Am or Casanova's sole distributor uh, as well when I did the unboxing you will remember that they sent through some hand wraps as well some of these hand wraps these are very good one star hand wraps nice and stretchy the only downside I would say to these is that they sent it in that and it's just like destroyed so uh, yeah the, the carry case is not great uh, but the hand wraps are very good with that stretch and these have got that skulls design on so back to the gloves these gloves 200 English pounds that's 275 US dollars plus shipping and these will go into the fit to box heavyweight lace division I just tip into that um, and so I will score them at the end but let's have a closer look at them Deportes Casanova as you can see from that badge there made in Mexico and that is the badge that you are looking for it has got the little sort of logo on there to indicate Mexican made and then just have a look at that python design that's absolutely lovely really fantastic gloves that sort of half across there which sort of goes across that thumb and then you've got the punch surface and that full leather in that beautiful black leather like so let's just have a look obviously upside down as i've pointed out before you've got a cloth badge there that goes over those bumps at the rear of the glove no problem with that seam at the back there you've got a full punch surface that is free of any seams you've got the thumb there with that thumb attachment and the thumb is both front front and rear covered in that python design when it comes to the knuckle a medium to firm knuckle a latex padding with a good punch surface there as well and then I'll bring around for the wrist so at the wrist you've got thick padding at the front there and you've also got those three bumps covered by that cloth badge for your wrist support the open the hand fine and you've got there you've got a firm grip bar as well when it comes to the stitching 
The stitching is very neat. I'd say these are a very good quality glove. They are very well made. And let's just have a look at the lining. Um, and there you go. The lining in there is, is nice. It's soft. But it's also a durable lining as well. So I particularly like it sort of here. Um, it's a little bit rougher in that knuckle and sort of that knuckle once you're sort of punching. But it's not a really rough canvas that you do get in some Mexican gloves. So let's just have one last look at them. There, as you can see, stunning in that Python design. So I'll do that. Okay, 16 ounce on the label and first up to the scales, the left glove, there like so, should be 16 ounce or within my variables and those are 20.3 or 4, just click to 4 then, so it's settled on 20.4, that is massively overweight. Okay, so let's try the other one. I'd expect some tolerance of maybe up to 17 ounces. And then what you've got there is 19.5. So both of these gloves are super heavy for a 16 ounce on the label lace. So let's have a look at the comfort. Put the right glove on first. As I'm putting them on, um, those big padded bits at the front can make it a little difficult to put on, especially if you've got hand wraps on. Uh, so you'll have to open them up quite a bit to get to get in. As I have that, got that glove on, I can open up no problem to catch the shots. And you've got big bulbous padding at the front as well as the three paddings at the rear for that wrist. And that is a really good wrist when it's sort of properly tied up. Now, in terms of the comfort, I'd say the most uncomfortable part of these gloves is there is a bit of a pinch going on when it comes to the end of the thumb. Here is a little tight, and then there is a little bit of a pinch when it comes to the front and the back of the fingers, okay? Inside as well, on sort of these knuckles and these knuckles of course these knuckles are covered by your wrap but these knuckles and these knuckles it's a little rough on those knuckles when you're using them again you will get used to that with with use let me just put them on again so let me put the left one on as well just sliding those on um, and as i'm sort of putting them on again you can open up fine both hands the thumbs are nice and tucked in again we've got a bit of tightness at the front we've got some tightness at the front and the rear of the thumb and also sort of a little bit of tightness at the front of the fingers and the it's right at the end so you've got your fingertips that are sort of wrapping around almost like a cord that is there almost like a cord that is underneath so you're wrapping your fingers around that a little tight gets better with use tight there and again this sort of thumb round there but especially pinching at the top there so when it comes to using them i thought that thought that these were good on the bag you get good feedback on the bag with that sort of nice flattish knuckle area again on the inside as you're punching there is a little bit of roughness so if you're used to winning or fly or addy speed these are definitely rougher on the inside so also what i would say is when it comes to the bags obviously these do weigh heavy so when you're on the bags you are going to have 
a endurance, a shoulder endurance workout because of the heaviness of these to the label which is 16 ounce. So in sparring you can open the hands fine, it's good knuckle protection for sparring. The only thing I would say is again because of the weight a downside would be your hands may be a little bit slower and also if you get a bit tired then the constant throwing of these punches given the, the extra weight that they've got that again could bring down your sparring performance. So fit to box heavyweight lace price division 201 English pounds to 400 English pounds that's 250 US dollars uh, 251 US dollars to 500 US dollars as I say these sort of just tip from the very top of the fit to box middleweight division into the fit to box heavyweight division so let's get up on screen the card style 96 I think they're great looking with this python design comfort 93 some areas of concern that's what I've sort of covered off just durability 96 great quality made Mexican gloves and then sparring 92 I've gone I do think they are heavy on the hands when you're sparring bag 95 value for money 96 that's 200 English pounds plus shipping or 275 US dollars plus shipping. So we have 94.6. That is a fit to box two star glove, which is a great pair of gloves. And I really do think that they are a great pair of gloves. Uh, when it comes to my Mexican glove reviews, I always at the end say about the three common Mexican floors and see whether or not the Mexican brands fall foul of any of those floors. Of course, with these comfort, yet yeah, there is a few areas of concern. My main one would definitely be that sort of thumb end. The rest, you know, rough and ready, as many um, uh, Mexican gloves are, that's the only part where I felt that there was a bit, a bit too much pressure. Now, when it comes to the weight, obviously these are way over. So it's a definite thumbs down when it comes to uh, Casanova keeping to their label or anywhere near their label weight. So I have to call that out as well. You need to know that. They're not alone. A lot of Mexican gloves do weigh heavy. These are particularly heavy. Then, of course, weird thumbs. Now, I don't think that they're particularly weird thumbs as in they hold your thumb out like that. But I do acknowledge that there is a pinch at the end so they're not the most comfortable of thumbs i would say if you're used to again if you're used to a fly or a winning uh, thumb these are more uncomfortable thumbs then let's just go on to uh, summing up for you great style great quality i think they're a great price at 200 english pounds i think there are some areas to improve they can improve some of the comfort in there and also of course that weight uh, you know they've got to try to get somewhere near the label that is on there otherwise what is the point in putting that label on there I mean these uh, I would hate to see how much a pair of 20 ounce Casanova weigh when 16 ounce weigh so heavy so as I say contact Chris at Proam in the links below if you fancy grabbing a pair of these check out their website um, it's a really really great little website with lots and lots of different brands on there and um, basically I spoke to Chris and, and, and he sort of spelled it out in terms of if if you need something for boxing they will have it uh, and if they haven't got it you probably don't need it so they cover everything so I hope you enjoyed that please like and subscribe to fit to box channel and I shall speak to you soon